The following video is not a polished episode. It is purely the highlights from a live stream investigation. These videos are designed to show you some unique places, give you the history, and give you any happenings that we might have had. Are they paranormal? We'll let you decide. For you, we weren't kind of telling you that we were going to be doing a live stream tonight. Sorry about the noise. We are in a very, very busy location at the moment. So, and just as I say, all the cars come down here and the lights change. So, we are in Port Adelaide tonight. So, as you can see behind us, we do have the lighthouse in the background, and there's plenty of old buildings and ghost Sorry stuff. About the Noise. We are in a very, very busy location at the moment. So. <laughs> and get the ball there you go. as well. That's it. Damo's on behind the camera tonight. So he's still working out how to operate the camera and everything else. So, um, but tonight we are at this beautiful building here. So it is now the information office in Port Adelaide, just coming in, so. but originally it was the police station, the courthouse and the customs house. So we're here to see <laughs> if there's anything, Damo's a bit nervous because I put him on the camera and he knows <laughs> I'm going to smack him. <laughs> <laughs> if he gets it wrong. Yeah. So. All right, so just for those who've never been to Adelaide who are watching, Port Adelaide was kind of set up as a port in 1837. Um, when settlers arrived in 1836, it was known as Port Misery because when the ships couldn't get any closer to shore, they had to trudge through swamp and mud and everything else. It was horrible, it was horrendous. So it's kind of changed over the years. It was a bit busy port as well for the whole of South Australia. So, but we're going to go inside and we're going to see what's happening. Uh, and what's happening in here is Kag is doing her Facebook. <laughs> so, Kag's here. He's been setting up for us to do an investigation. And we have the lovely Naomi who works here. Hi. So Naomi's going to take us for a little bit of a walk around, tell you a little bit of history about the building. A couple of the deaths. We yes. have had a death. We've, we, yeah, one death that we know about. Yeah. Yeah. So we will be talking about that as well. So, I mean, when was this building built? Um, the building was built in 1860. Right. So it's, it's pretty old now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because Port Adelaide's one of the oldest towns yeah. in South Australia, really. Yeah, we were yeah. the first port for South Australia. Yeah. So we were quite a, a lively, bustling harbour yeah. and port um, until probably the 1960s. Yeah. And then it quietened off. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So this area here, people can come into. What was this part originally? This was the courthouse and initially it had a cupola on the top of the building but that was removed in I think 1918 I think it had uh, I think it was starting to crumble so yeah. they pulled it down right um, so this was the courthouse mm -hmm. and then next door to us on the what do you call that the right side or yeah. the southern side yeah. was the police station right and to the left um, over this way was customs house right okay so and then slowly um, the police station just sort of took over the whole building <laughs> so it was it did all take over everything eventually it did, yeah so, so this was all the police station yeah. after a while yeah because i know you've got the cells outside we which did. we'll have a look at yeah. soon yeah. Uh, yeah we could go and have a look at start and have a look at them because we're going to finish upstairs we are going to finish upstairs so it's wonderful that you oh sarah francisco yeah. So you have a thing on her as well. She was in the Adelaide jail so many times. <laughs> it was almost like her home. She used to leave the Adelaide jail, this lady, and she used to say to the guards, keep myself warm, I'll be back. And she was back very shortly after this. So I thought she was about 70, I think. And then she got in with the Salvation Army. Yeah. And kind of changed her ways. So, all right. 
So this is a cell block. This is a cell block. Um, so it was more of an overnight kind of holding zone and it was mostly uh, drunk and disorderly. So um, a little bit of yeah, misbehaviour. Yeah. Minor mis misbehaviours, I suppose. Yeah. Um, so we've got three cells here um, that still look like cells and have the benches and big heavy jail doors. Um, so you've got the wooden bench, you can go in if you like. <laughs> Trying to show every angle that we possibly can. The wooden bench down there. So these were more for individuals and they did have a group cell and they called that the ballroom. And that's been converted into um, an art workshop yeah. at the moment. So there's still the existing door, but the yeah. other side is an art workshop. Cool. Yeah. Oh, you got a pane of the cells there. Yeah. So, okay. where are we? Right now, we are in cell three. Okay. Um, and then. Which one's five? Cell five is this one, the ballroom. One. Yeah. Which is the one so that we said about the cell being really. I don't know why I've got cell number in my Could you say something about cell number? I think there's a story about, uh, yeah, um, about a, a person that was quite often, I think, in the lockups um, oh. overnight and he used to come into the ballroom um, and um, to annoy the police officers, he used to sing opera at the top of his lungs. Um, and apparently, after he passed away, um, police officers could hear opera singing. Quite loudly okay. from the cells, even when they were empty. Oh, okay. So I can't say that I've heard any opera, opera singing. <laughs> Do you spend a lot of time in the other No, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we've got one, two, three yeah. cells still as they were. And wasn't one of them used for bodies or something? Yes, so I right. don't know which one, or if it was just whichever one was not full of alive people, yeah. um, but they used to store. Um, like some dead bodies back in the day before there was a mortuary. Right. Um, and yeah, so the pubs yeah. and butchers also used to store people oh. at the police station. And then I think the health uh, sanitation person decided that it probably wasn't a good idea to have dead bodies mixed with the live bodies. <laughs> and so they moved them and built a dead house just over the back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Excellent. Show this over here for this. Nice mesh doors there. Pretty cool, aren't they? So how many centimetres am I? Maybe 162. Okay. Yeah. Is it five foot four by shrunk? Um, it's, it's it's an approximate <laughs> height scale. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. am I still five foot four? It's a bit difficult to say. Oh, with really. old age, have I? Yeah, you might have shrunk a little bit. <laughs> I like that. So, then, yeah. so this behind that the door, door that is where the ballroom would be. Music box. Uh, Alright, so um, this place that we've just come up to now, so what was the upstairs used for? Um, the last, before it closed, yeah. or maybe not just before it closed, but in, um, in the last 50 years, before it closed, they used this as um, dorm rooms for some of the younger police officers, oh, the okay. unmarried police officers. Yeah. Um, so these were sleeping quarters, and then at the back of the hallway, there's a set of stairs that take you down to a toilet block okay. and storage um, kind of unit. Yeah. Um, so yeah, living quarters, and it's sort of not not overly um, used at the moment. Um, it's some office space for the art. Uh, Port Community mm. Arts Centre. So this would have been because I believe there was a death here of a young cadet. Yes. So, yeah. so this would have been the area that he would have died in? I'm not sure of the timeline, sorry. If it or would have been another area. It might have been, been that in. initial police station upstairs okay. or it might have been up here. Right. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. But his name was Jacob Wilkes. Right. And he just fell asleep and didn't and wake up. And then what year? No. no. Doesn't no. say. I'm sure oh. I, I can find out, but at this stage, yeah. no, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Just put you on the spot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Date. Yeah. Date. Yeah. 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 No, that's all right. So I'll, I'll get back to you. But yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. 
your equipment. <laughs> Damn, I didn't get that on camera. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I keep telling them off for doing it. Yeah. My glasses keep steaming up. Probably because they're not being used because you can't. My usual. <laughs> so what would this be? This room. This was a section courthouse. This was customs house. So this was customs. Yeah. And then customs house moved down um, to the corner of I think the um, big building. The big building. Big building next institute. And the, yeah, the police station expanded into here. So okay. it looks like a normal door, but yeah, kind of apt. Oh, I was going to say, J, J Tan, E Tan, and Sons, Peyton Blake, so I don't know if that means anything to anyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, solid. Yeah, it is. And so now I think that is just our IT cupboard. Oh, okay. Sorry. So it would have been a big kind of safe from yeah, some children. So yeah, it's just a very small, small kind of um, arched room. Yeah. And then it's got these uh, support beams that go through. So on the outside of the building, you can see basically giant bolt or giant nuts. Yeah. And um, I don't know what their purpose was exactly. It's probably engineering it keeps the well, cause they, solid. Yeah. I know they used to have big rods in buildings. You see those big square yeah. ends, like bolts yes. that hold the building support. So what would they have kept in here, do you reckon? I don't know, actually. Oh, well, it may be, may be money and yeah. um, gold bars or something. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> we, should, we, we should ask the guys to know. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, if it was customs house, I would yeah. say maybe, yeah, important papers yeah. and, and money and things. So yeah. 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 So I think this building is actually one of the oldest, uh, or it might be the oldest public building in Port Adelaide. Okay. Start and do some investigation. Let's start our investigation and see what we get. So we can't promise anything. Um, there's been the odd thing that people have talked yeah, about. Just but a few noises or yeah. footsteps yeah. and you know, yeah. cold, feeling cold. And so there's nothing definite, yeah. but we'll find it. So there's no magic bullet that will make anything happen if it will happen at all. It's just fishing. You throw your line out and just see if you get anything. So, magic bullet goes to you. Alright, there is anybody here what? tonight. Is that safe? What? What? Speaking <laughs> of <laughs> <Anyway>, what? what? <laughs> Any of those two that speak, just let us know, shout out what you can do. <laughs> <laughs> it could be because my phone's right next to it as well because it's in there. Yeah. So I'm going to draw with you. So, it's not a chair. Oh, uh, no, okay. Yeah. You don't ask me that. You don't take care mm -hmm. of me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so if there's anybody here, you would have seen Keg. This is Keg. There's this Hello. strange name. You would have seen her putting all these lights out. Eleven. Eleven. Wire. Hook. No, it might be. I'm just going to say it from a rational point of view because we are Am keeping it real. Could be the phone if it's sending a signal. Do you want me to take um, Ghost Tube? Please. Well, at least that one's out of the way then. I don't think it's that. Oh, it might be because I'm really on. Ghost tube, I can see it on flight mode. That will stop it. Just in case it is that, it might be your phone as well. See. From a point of view of a, keeping it real. So we can't see you, we can't hear. Sorry to interrupt, I was just chatting to you then to see if anybody's here. So. All these lights, these strange lights that you see on the floor and in the rooms, they're the only way that we're going to know if you're here or not. 
So we are curious. Some people say that they've felt cold and they've heard sounds. Or you can try and speak into this little box I'm going to put on. I'm going to get everybody to think of a question. with the orange light. Can you see the orange light? You can put your voice on it and we can listen back and just see if you said anything. Don't. Don't. I hear you. What was that? I hear you. You hear me? Well that's good. If that's you. So my name's Alison, it's very rude because we haven't introduced ourselves. My name's Alison. I'm just wondering if there is anybody here, if you can give me your name please. Just wondering if anybody here knew Jacob. Jacob Wilkes. Be here when he was, or maybe Jacob's here. That's perfect timing. Perfect timing for stopping the EVP birds, wasn't it? <laughs> not to treat you equipment. <laughs> Did you put a wire cable out of that? Yeah, it's on the back of this chair. I she asked that. What? Did you put a wire cable up for the back of that one? <laughs> 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 it's always the fault. <laughs> <laughs> I can show my staff are doing the job. No, no, no. They have absolutely no response. None whatsoever. <laughs> no, I like to take it where I can. <laughs> Just see if you said anything. Don't. That was very loud. I hear you. What was that? I hear you. You hear me? Well, that's good. That's you. Just wondering if anybody here knew Jacob. Even if there was something here, power off. A, it would want to interact. B, it would want to know what to do with all this stuff. Because it's probably, I don't know, if I was yeah. from the 1800s and saw all this, I'd be just saying, like, what on earth? Yeah. <laughs> so with some of our venues, it actually takes a few times before it seems to Understand. warm up yeah. to it. But mm -hmm. <coughs> she explained the ghost box. Oh, the radio. Mm -hmm. The yeah. broken radio. Right yeah. yeah, the most embarrassing thing. <laughs> but we have heard the weirdest stuff coming out of it. <laughs> Some there, you know. Mostly it's noise. <laughs> they had to go and radio. Slow. 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 You're talking too fast for you. Yeah, it's very yeah. talkative. Mm. No, radio doesn't. Don't. Yes. 
Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, there because must be some. But I've had my hand in this. It's it's not all the time. Why? Well, mine's on flight mode. <coughs> so is mine. We have that in proximity to this all the time. No. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. Stay up now. I'm going to get pinged about it. <laughs> <laughs> My videos get getting pinged because the oh, okay. split second Facebook picks up Amazing. on the fact that it's. Yeah. Norman is disturbed. Mm-hmm. Alright, so if there's anybody there holding a little box in my hand. Yeah, so because it's been when it's been there, it's been silent. It's not this really, figure. Yeah. So it must be this bit here. This figure. Yeah, just be to, where you're. You need to hold it up a bit. Bedroom. Bedroom. Which was your bedroom? Heaven. <laughs> you missed that as well, Dave. Floor? Did I just say floor? No, he said yeah, floor. Floor? No, floor. Oh, oh floor. floor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's what I've been to. But he also said bedroom, heaven, and then floor. Okay. Yeah. She's oh. actually running around after a ball because I knocked it off. I've well, got the arse mark. That's what he came out with the floor. <laughs> just crawling around on a knee. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Dangerous. Mind you, you Dangerous. Know. I'll hold it. Nothing here is dangerous. Oh, lights. Oh, so that's not us that are setting that off. That was temperature. Mm-hmm. Are you waiting for lights? Yes. Yeah. Change of air pressure, the cold change of air. That was a sudden change. Oh, so now the air pressure is changing. Okay, it's cold and out of here, you might be able to speak through. Maybe. 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 Alright. If you can work it out. Thank you. Off and running. So, the problem is we are very biased to what we're hearing for here, aren't we? Yeah. So, we take that away. What is this? What is this? Follow me. Well, I would if I could see you. Which way? Which way are you going? Um. I'm not feeling it down that way. I might go and step into that room. Okay. Mm. See going. Yeah. yeah. All right. So can you tell me how many living people are in this building today, please? Did you used to work in this building? Matthew! Is that your name? This is your name, Matthew. Amenable. Smile. They're coming. So who's coming? When? And when? Funny enough. Back wheel. I thought before she said that I heard a noise, but I couldn't work out where it came from. I thought she was windows. Condemned. 
There's more to. Patient. Like a doctor's patient? Joe. Woman. She was at the hospital, wasn't she? Probably was. Mm -hmm. So you was at the hospital? I think at the back of the building was a casualty hospital. Okay. So she said woman and then they said Joan. Okay. So Martin and Joan, were they patients here? so we can talk to you if we can. There's a lady who sat in that room over there. She's got these funny things on her ears. Can you go up to her and can you move her chair? Try and move her chair, please. <laughs> cold. It is cold. Yeah, are you cold? If you wanted to know that you're here, just go up to her, rattle her chair. Or play with her hair. Did you just both? Sorry? Did somebody just bang on the floor? No. no. We haven't moved. This whole floor just here with me just suddenly went like that. Oh really? Interesting. Do you know if you picked your foot up and went bang? Yeah. yeah. That you get that vibration? Okay. So you didn't feel the vibration? No. No, no there was no noise under me here. No. And it was big enough that... Look, under your chair? Yeah, like a drop kind of... Thing. Okay, that's interesting. Mm. Play with the hair. Put it Talk. A, put it into a plaque for me. Just we can stroke her hair. She doesn't mind at all. It's all good. I was known locally. Oh, that's good. What were you known locally as? Good God. <laughs> Did you used to live around this area? Can you tell me? Sorry, I'm probably going. Were you a police officer? Her friend. Did you have a favourite pub that you used to go and have a drink in? No. <laughs> yeah, no. We can't drink, we've got to drive. So if you know locally... No, nothing really. No? It's just it's loss of sport. Mm -hmm. That was weird though, the way they... I gather I wasn't answering anything. Mm. No, nothing. Mm. But they had us to play the chair. Did you? And that's before when you... Before the thump? Yeah, just before. Are you joking? No, but we did, I didn't want to say it. Didn't want to say it to you when you, you questioned it because it happened again. But that's why I went. It's just done it again. No, I was. I wanted them to play with your hair next, but um, I, I did feel, ask them to play didn't feel with hair on face. But yeah. it was like the whole floor or the chair just went boom, yeah, like that. Mm. Asked to play with your chair, and it was a. It was just seemed to be. It was as I said. If I had you, you couldn't hear me, but I just went boom like that. Right next to you, you'd feel yeah. that vibration right by your feet. And there was no, just what it, no heavy traffic going past. And I thought, well, is it a bus or did we all no. feel it because no. it vibrated through? Oh, no. that's weird. Uh, just, uh, I just asked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I'm just about to put the video up in the next couple of weeks that we did. Yeah. <laughs> Something sets the flux off, the one with the blue lights, the yep. go red or thing. Something set that off. And this came out straight away. What did it say? It, uh, that just went off. As soon as the equipment went off, yeah. the voice came out and said, that just went off. <laughs> 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 I thought, 
<laughs> What's the coincidence on that? Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then, yeah, the male voice that came through went Belvedere. Huh. It's just like okay. Here is this. Yes, I am. About three things, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I used to be the biggest skeptic on all this stuff, um, but just using it night after night on the tours and seeing it doing the occasional weird thing. Yeah. And it's just I've given up going. That shouldn't work. If it's electronic, it seems to be able to manipulate electronics and mm. stuff. If it really wants to. Yeah. I think it was quite interesting. I think the, the, the chair um, was interesting. The chair was interesting, but I also think it was that you were very well respected in the area. That coming out, I think that was pretty I was, cool. Uh, what I, was, was I, was I was well known. I was well known. known I, say well known. I was a well known local. Yeah. This room doesn't get used. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so if there's anybody here, we don't wish any harm, we don't wish any disrespect. We just want to talk to you if we possibly can. Now, my name is Cag, and I know it's a really strange name. And I've got some other people with me tonight. And the lady next to me, you probably know already. My name is Naomi, and you might have seen me wandering around the building, opening doors and... Popping so one of the best. One of the best. Oh, I That's lovely. You're one of the best. <laughs> In fact, why don't you, why don't I pull up a chair and you come and sit next to us? You want to come sit with us? Lovely. How about you come and sit with us? We can hang out. We've got alcohol, we've got smokes. If I put that ball on there, you can maybe knock it off so that you can sit down. Nobody else in here, so. No. Did you hear it? Yeah, I did hear it. It's kind of depends on where it came from. There's someone down there. Is there anybody coming to join us? Oh, you do. What about? We have a card game. So we're all going to have a card. What was the game we played at least at Wilcox, I can't remember, for the pub afterwards? 21, wasn't it? Yeah, we're playing 21 ponches. Alright, so the only way we're going to hear you is if you make something come through that. You've got to be very clear, otherwise it's going to be right over the night. Alright, so I'm going to hold this card up. Alright, don't you can see it. I'm putting the light there. Can you tell me the number? Um, <laughs> I'm telling the number on this card, please. I'm not going to tell the others because I'm not going to put it in their head. Can you tell me what number is on this card? But just as we know you're there, we're not asking you to perform like a service anymore. Just kind of tells us that you are around. Can you see it? I'm just assuming you can see it. I don't know if you can or you can't.
me if you want. That's my card. That's one of the others. It was a seven. Mm. Yes. Yes. No, there was okay. more That's my card. <laughs> I've got a card in front of me here. I need to get to 21. Should I take another card? I thought it said give me one. Yeah, put me on one. Okay, so... I'm going to flip it over. Do I need to take another card? Do I... Do I take another card? What about Naomi's card? You like Naomi? Well, she, they did say she's the best. Yeah. <laughs> she does need some help. If she's going to be Damo, she's going to need some help. You think she should take another card to see if she can beat Damo? Do you think Naomi should take another card to try and beat Dima? You know who's the favourite here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, I've got a card in my hand and I want to beat Dima. <laughs> so I'm going to try and beat Naomi because I actually like her, so I'm going to try and beat Dima. So do I need... You tell me what I've got, number I've got in my hand and do I need another card? Am I going to beat Damo with this hand? No. No. <laughs> well, also, I thought I'd let stay before. I thought I would stay as well. Alright. I, I think I you've would. got a beating hand than me. Yeah, okay. I'd stay. It's just that I would. Should we see who is? Oh, I haven't done that. I haven't done okay. that. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, I'm going to take it off the phone. <laughs> Alright, can we see either of my cards though? I'm going to show you to the lady who might be a gentleman who might be sitting in the chair next to me. Can you see the cards? What number they are? Who's going to win, do you know? Shall I stay? Maybe you want to play. Why don't you play your card as well? You might be cheating because you know what our cards are. Alright, what if I give you this card? I'll give you that one. Alright. Can you see it? Do you think you should have another card? I'll just hit the dark. 
I got 15. <laughs> well, I've got 13. And I've got 10. Oh! I think he's one. And I think you've got... 17. I think you won your hand. Good well done. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> you having a look in the case? So we just missed it. Um, I was just putting things and getting the camera ready. And not only did the case move slightly once, it did it twice. So, which was a bit more interesting. You can still play with it if you like. So because we've opened it, you can now see what's in it. Yeah, look at the stuff. Have a play with it. So if there is anybody here, I'm in here on my own. I'd love to talk to you. I put a little box on. Cold in this room. Just gonna put a little box on here. So it's just sitting here. I'm wondering if you can put your voice on it. So my name's Alison. I'm just wondering if there is anybody in here with us tonight. Wondering if you have a name. If you have, can you put your name on there, please? What were you put put in here for? Were you drunk? Okay, that sounded like a stomach, but it wasn't my stomach. That was not my stomach that came from just over here. But that's what it sounded like. This is really weird because it wasn't that my stomach. You swear with a people. The stomach, you hear a st gut thing and then almost like a at the end of it in a minute. It's not me. I swear to God it's not. I know what you think. I know what you think. It was not me. That's from the other end. <laughs> that was not me. I was sitting here going, what the? I've had the case move. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Going her case. Oh, exactly. Okay. Just, no, uh, yeah. Just call it out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Around the corner. Five minutes. You're asking the wrong the way. Child's voice. Anything interesting? Uh, it was yeah, the child's voice going. But we're not scared. <laughs> like, we were after that. We were. I'm like, what the? Alright guys, so we finished. Mm -hmm. How is that? It's actually a really cool place, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful I've been building. wanting to do it for quite a while actually. Mm. I think every time I try past this building I've been wanting to do it. So I mean it, it wasn't overly busy. No, it wasn't. But then it is the first time yeah. anybody's been in, so Yeah. You know, so we've got to give them Oh, a... she said she, somebody might have it, might be the second time, but okay, that's fine. not while so she's cool. been there, so yeah. Well, even then, I mean, they've still got to get used to the equipment, yeah. And, so, yeah, so that's cool. The cells were interesting <laughs> as soon as I went there, so and the bits you heard, if I put them up, it definitely wasn't me, guys. I'm going to say that these two don't believe me. I might put it up, I might not, because it might be hard to prove that it wasn't me. But it wasn't, I promise you. So, mm. all right, we're going to go. So we're off somewhere else on the road and we will see you then. Okay, bye. Bye.